Davis, just uh, I guess talk us through when Nick goes down and you're told that that you're going into the game. Uh, it's been my mindset all year just to be ready when my number's called. Uh, obviously, with Kenny not playing, I was a little bit more prepared too. Uh, so when he went down, I was 100% ready to go. Join Christopher. Davis, it seemed like Michigan State was throwing a lot of pre-snap motion, movement to try to throw you off. Was there any of that that confused you and kind of kept it, kept it kind of hidden where the pressure was coming from? Uh, yeah, they did a couple of different things uh, up front and uh, moving around in the secondary. Uh, using my hands was a big thing tonight, uh, trying to get them to show their show their hand. But uh, yeah, they got me a couple of times. We'll go next to Alan Cole and then Craig Meyer. Uh, Coach Narduzzi said the third and one toss play on the second to last possession was a check at the line of scrimmage. Uh, can you kind of walk us through what happened there? And did you make a check or, or was that the original play call? Uh, that was a call for the check. Uh, we got the luck we wanted and uh, they just beat us on that play. Go ahead, Craig. Davis, what did you see on that final on that final pass there that uh, that, that resulted in the in the pick six? Like, was uh, was uh, was there a guy open there and the defender happened to jump in from I guess from from your vantage point? How did that all unfold? And what were you trying to do on that play? Uh, yeah, and our empty looks, uh, they mugged up. We put those two backers in the box. Uh, he took a step forward. And I thought he was coming. Try to put it right behind him. He stepped back, made a great play. Give all the credit to him. Any final questions for Davis? Go ahead, Chris. I mean, at that point, I think you had completed five passes in a row. You guys are moving down the field. You're at the 26. I mean, you know, how did that sort of swing of emotions? Uh, I mean, I got to think it was, I mean, you went from feeling like you're going to win the game, right? And it goes to the complete opposite. I mean, can you just tell us about sort of that experience of the, the, the swing there? Uh, we talk about it a lot. Never get too high, never get too low. Uh, Coach Junko always says, saw that wood, stay in the middle. So uh, that's just kind of what it was. I mean, obviously, it's not the outcome we expected or wanted, but uh, I just got to keep my head high and my chin up. See one more hand raise. We'll give the final question to Christopher. Uh, Davis, what kind of support did you get from your teammates, not only in this game, but throughout the week? Uh, you know, uh, Pat told us that you took 80% of the second team snaps, and I saw after – the, uh, the after the interception, you know, you had, it seemed like you had a lot of guys coming up to you to to, to talk to you afterwards. Um, you seemed to try to try to pick you up a little bit. What can you say about the teammates and what they've done uh, just in this game and leading up to this? Yeah, I mean, this team means everything to me. Uh, it was definitely disappointing to let those guys down. Uh, I mean, we missed some plays here and there, and I, I mean, I'm obviously guilty of it. But uh, my team's great. I couldn't ask for anyone better. Uh, those guys are just awesome to be around. Whether it's the locker room. Well, it's out and about, but uh, yeah, they showed me love the whole time, and uh, I know I've got their back and they've got mine, so that's 